Hi, I'm Thea. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Diwala. And I'm really excited to be here at Slush. We're currently facing the biggest refugee crisis of our time. 65.6 million people are displaced globally. And shockingly, the average time they spend in camp is an unbelievable 24 years. That's 24 years where a person is unable to grow, educate, and work. And because of the current geopolitical climate, refugees are going to be stuck in displacement for longer which entitles that we need to look at something long-term. People need a tool to be resilient. So they're not just this word. Because sadly, today, it has a lot of negative connotations to it. We want to help them achieve the skills that they want and to verify the skills they already have. Because we see people that are resourceful. Many left brilliant careers before they had to flee their own country. They have skills and creativity. So imagine, if refugees were actually giving a digital economy platform where they could build and verify their skill sets and identity. So they're able to work. And that is why we want to build the Walla. So we just got back from Jordan. This is the Safari camp, the second largest camp. And we need to know that 3,000 small businesses have sprung up there. And we wanted to understand, how can we actually encourage this entrepreneurial spirit further? We also know that 60% have access to internet and smartphones. So we can help people like Aisha become an entrepreneur with a click of a button. She could sell medical kits or childcare services. She could buy English lessons from others inside her community. She can even, in the future, request microloans for initiatives that she wants to build and do. But how are we going to do all this? We start with documenting the skill courses people like Aisha is already a part of with NGOs. Then we fully automate the process for the NGO and we build the resume for Aisha. Second, we implement the peer-to-peer -peer product where she has her own tool to actually showcase what she's done, selling products and services, building it by transactions. And if we do that right, we're actually able to automate the whole process in the information and the cash management system. And we've seen in other projects that, actually, that can actually save up to 96% of the, of the back-end costs. We also seen in a recent report by NRC that that can save their group 800,000 hours of labor. That gives us two main revenue streams. We do a platform fee for NGOs and IGOs, and we do 4% transaction fee when we implement microloans. The benefit of this is full transparency. Because we're building on blockchain, we're also able to exclude the challenges of corruption and black markets, and information flows faster. So we've already, already been grateful to uh, have a lot of people that wants to collaborate with, with us. As a team, we work with international development, huge consult consultancies and clients. We're humble, but we have the skills to do this. But let's bring this back to what it's all about. And as our brilliant ambassador Noor says, this is about providing people with a choice. How do you feel about this word now? Let's change it. So I, I love the idea here, and I love the idea of, of solving this problem. Um, I guess I'd love to find ways that people can make money that's not just reliant on other people in the camp. Uh, can you talk a bit more around how much remote working is possible with a basic Android smartphone and an unreliable connection? What kind of remote working could they do to get paid by US companies in dollars? Mm. I think uh, we've been focused on doing initiatives in the country that they're in because you have a lot of regulations that you need to be aware of. So if we start with the country that they're in and also connecting them with the local workforce, you can actually make a better bridge between the community that's already there and the people that's here um, wanting to integrate into the country. But we can if we want to, but I think it's, uh, it's more of actually having the patient to start one step and going one step at a time to see what the opportunities can be. Maybe it's a collaboration with another party. Uh, wonderful pitch, and, and there's 
concrete value for 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 people living in in such harsh conditions. But so, how do they use the smartphones today to conduct business? What are you replacing? Is it like a messaging app, or don't they just use a smartphone for for business purposes? Mm. So it depends what country you're focusing on. Because we, we started our field research in Jordan, we know that uh, the project that's been going there is more about food management system uh, in Accra, which has actually been quite successful. Uh, what they're actually using right now is only uh, process as uh, not digital. So it's a lot of paper. They lose a lot of information. That's actually how we can provide a, value, a lot of value. Mm. And how are you financed so far, and how do you want to do that in the future? Um, your financing, are you like talking to NGOs as well, or how does that look like? Yes, our first clients would be the NGOs and IGOs, because we, we make a system for them to basically give more ease and flow into their, what they currently do. Uh, and then if we, do that, if we do that right, they can actually get a lot of rich data and also direct feedback from the refugees in terms of how well are these courses? And are, do, they, do they want other systems? Should there maybe, maybe be more something digital? Should there be coding? And I think that's a strong value. Um, so as I understand it, you're, you're, you're building this product now. Mm. Um, so what is the initial functionality at launch going to be? So we're actually a company that's only five months old. We, we they made this idea in May, and then we started working in uh, August. But we now have a plan to do three pilots starting with UN Women uh, demo launch in New York, the last weekend of January, and then three pilots in the country that we partner with, if that's NRC that we're talking with right now, and then doing a full launch of the MVP in April. Yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you.